Have you heard the riddle about five frogs sitting on a log, four decide to jump off, now how many are left? Well, watch the rest of this video to find out the correct answer. Welcome to Real Estate Redefined, I'm Dan Forsman. Can you believe that 2019 is almost half over? On Friday, June 21st, we will officially complete our spring season and enter the summer selling months. This is a great time to consider some key decisions that will make a difference in your results for the balance of this year. So what was your answer to the riddle? Most people would say one frog is left on the log. However, the best answer is five. Why five? because there's a difference between deciding and actually doing. Today, I want to encourage you to go beyond feeling the motivation for actions to taking the actions and executing. If you will consistently take new actions, you can form new habits, and these habits can significantly transform your business and life over time. Aristotle said, we are what we repeatedly do. Yes, there is power in our patterns and our repetition. According to a study done by Dr. Maxwell Maltz in the 1950s, it takes a minimum of 21 days to form a new habit. So what are the most important habits for real estate success? I believe there are four key habits that will propel your business to that next level. Number one, you know what I'm gonna to say too. Schedule that miracle morning. You know I am a big believer in the power of miracle mornings. I have seen this simple habit transform many people and I know it can benefit you as well. Get up early, read, meditate, pray, write down what you are grateful for and say your gratitudes out loud. Eat a great healthy breakfast, get some exercise and then establish your priorities for the day. Getting your mindset right and focusing on your priorities, getting the big stuff done every day will make a massive difference in your business and your life. Number two, schedule time for conversations and appointments. The key to real estate success is time blocking to consistently have conversations that will lead to appointments. You should have a time on your calendar three to five days a week to do this activity. If it's not on your calendar, it doesn't exist. This is why we are running our appointment setting surge right now and focusing on appointments. We focus on appointment setting and our SOAR performance coaching programs also. We know that this is the foundation to success. Every year we see real estate agents across the country have a busy spring and then end up with a dry sales pipeline. Don't be one of those frogs sitting on the log knowing you need to take action, but you failed to do so. Make the commitment right now to begin a new habit and block time for conversations and appointments. Some people call it swallowing the frog first thing in the day. Number three, schedule time to sharpen your saw. In 1989, Steve Covey published that famous book called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. This is a classic that I read over and over and over. If you've not read it lately, I would highly recommend it. Habit number seven was sharpening your saw. His analogy was about a lumberjack who is sawing for several days straight and becoming less and less productive. The process of cutting dulls the blade. So the solution is to periodically take half a day to sharpen the saw. Yes, we can work smarter, not just harder. For real estate, we need to take time to practice our talking points, to establish our unique competitive advantages, and be ready to handle objections. Things change over time, so we need to stay in our game consistently by sharpening our real estate saw. Number four, schedule personal and family time. My fourth recommended action, and is critically important, and a habit is to schedule personal and family time. Put it on your calendar. If it's not on your calendar, it doesn't exist. It is possible to have a great business and a balanced life, but not if you don't plan for it. 
Everything comes back to calendaring, blocking time for things that are important. Date night with your spouse, family vacations, exercise, sporting activities, whatever is important in your life to find that right balance. Put it on your calendar and protect it just as you would an appointment. As you look back on this year and consider your strategy and you begin to plan for next year, your calendar will be a great record of how you spent your time and allow you to have that baseline to create strategy to go to that next level. The spring market has certainly been strong after a slower start in the first quarter. All the indicators that we look at look very positive for a strong summer market ahead. But frankly, you have the power to make your market strong regardless of conditions. Control your attitude and your activities. Today is a great time to take new actions that begin to form those new habits and have the business and the life that you deserve. We will be here to encourage you and offer the resources and programs that provide the framework to make this happen. We recently hired Jennifer Davis to lead our coaching and training efforts. Jennifer will be kicking off the next SOAR Performance Coaching Program on June 17th. If you're interested in participating in this powerful eight-week success program, please contact your managing broker. Our appointment setting surge program will continue to run through July 4th. Each week, you will receive a video with talking points and recommended actions to generate, you got it, more appointments. These are themed around our highly successful mega open house events. Remember, the next two events are Sunday, June the 9th and Sunday, June 23rd. I want to thank you for watching this video. We want, I want 2019 to be your best year ever. And remember, every day in every way, you can get better and better.